Pat, congratulations on uh, starting in the Pro Bowl. What does that honor mean? Especially, you know, your, your dad's played in three, if the, the numbers are right. What does it mean to kind of continue that family legacy and earn your first Pro Bowl berth as a starter? Yeah, um, it means a lot, especially, um, you know, when you put the work in and, you know, you work hard, uh, you know, for reasons like this to get all the accolades and stuff like that. So, you know, it's a big accomplishment for me and my family, of course, for my dad. Um, being in Pro Bowls as well, too, you know, so that's a blessing. But, um, you know, it just goes to show the work I put in and, you know, what my peers and everybody thinks of me. So it's a big accomplishment. Have you told him you're going to have more than his, his three? Um, it's, I think I, I think I got a good chance. Obviously, I got to prove it year in and year out. Obviously, he had a, had a career. So, you know, I think I got a good chance. Go for it, George. Yeah, Pat. Uh... There's been a lot of really good corners to come through uh, Denver when you talk about Chris Harris Jr. and Aqib Tlaib and obviously Champ Bailey. Well, what's it mean to you maybe to be mentioned the same breath as, as a lot of those guys and, and how familiar are you with some of those guys' games? Yeah, um, it means a lot um, to be mentioned with those high caliber players. Um, obviously they left their legacies here. Um, they made a mark here, established themselves here. So, you know, to be uh, categorized in the same name um, with them, you know, it means a lot. And, you know, obviously I'll be watching how they play their film and stuff and their game translate very similar to mine. So, you know, it's just, you know, it's dope to, you know, be acknowledged in that same category. Go for it, Zach. Pat, you talk about other players' legacies and, and sometimes when, when you get an award or when a player gets an award, it's time to take a step back and kind of look at the legacy that you're starting. What legacy do you want to leave uh, and, and that you've already started to create? Um, I think the legacy I want to leave, um, you know, in football, obviously, I want to, you know, win Super Bowls, of course, um, and build my uh, resume on that, but also, you know, build my legacy, not only in football, but off the field, um, leave a long less impact um, towards the community um, and involved with the world more. So that's what the type of impact I want to leave out, so. Go ahead, Parker. Parker, can you hear us? Okay, we're gonna go to Mike, go ahead, Mike. Um, yes, Pat. Um, I believe I didn't see the final, I didn't see the final, uh, vote tallies, but I know all, all year when they had the uh, fan voting, uh, you weren't in the top 10. So you got this award, uh, through your peers and, and the coaches. Uh, what was your, th what's your thoughts on that? That it was the players and the coaches that got you in as opposed to the fans, I guess. Um, you know, I just think uh, that says a lot when the players and coaches uh, acknowledge you in a certain way, um, you know, put you on a certain pedestal um, across the league. So, you know, it means a lot uh, to get those votes. Um, for them to see me as a premier player in this league and for them to vote, I mean, to be able to uh, reach this accomplishment. So, you know, it's pretty cool um, to have my name mentioned. Um, in those votes from the players and coaches. So, you know, I just think all around, you know, it just goes to show like the work I put in on the field and, you know, how much I progress week in and week out, you know, the coaches and the, you know, players look at that. So it's pretty dope. Uh, if you no longer have a question, can you please lower your hand? We'll go to Parker. Parker, we can't hear you. Can you hear us? <laughs> nope, uh, let's try it now. No, we still don't have you. Um, anybody else? Um, go ahead, Nick. Yeah, Pat, are you excited about the different format? You know, it's the first year that they've changed it, getting to do something a little bit, a little bit different. What, what have you heard about what it's going to be, and and how excited are you for being part of a, a new element of the Pro Bowl? Yeah, I think um, you know switching the element from you know football games to like flag football. You know, I think it makes it more fun, of course. Um, you know, brings a different excitement. Obviously, it's, you know, no contact, but you could bring another competitive nature out of you in you know, flag football. So, obviously, it's going to be a lot of events for the fans, some exciting events, you know, like skill challenges, uh, dodgeball, I believe. So, 
you know, I can't wait for it. It should be a great experience all around. Go for it, Troy. Uh, a little off the beaten path. Pat, you know Jerry Judy as well as anyone probably with the Broncos. What do you think has been the key for him in these last this last month as he's really started to blossom? Yeah, I think the key for him is, um, you know, when he comes in and practice, he always want to get better, see things he can improve on. And, you know, that translates to the game. You know, these last couple of weeks he showed, um, obviously he's been putting up big numbers as of late. And, you know, that's the type of player he is. Um, so he creates a lot of plays for the offenses, but also I just see it day in and day out, the way he competes, the way how you want to get, get better, um, the way how you approach the meeting room. So, you know, you could tell it's just a night and day thing with him right now. Go for it, Eric. Yeah, Pat, a couple for you. Um, obviously, you're the only guy that made it from this team. Uh, are there other guys on the team that you think were deserving? It's kind of the mindset that you guys have got to win more football games to, to be acknowledged the way you'd like to be. Um, yeah, um, obviously, Justin, he was the first ultimate, I think. Um, he should have been in there, of course. But, you know, I think I think he has a high chance of getting in. You know, but the players can't uh, participate. Some of the safeties can't participate. But um, I just think as a team all around, though, um, I feel like, you know, we had the potential. Obviously, the season um, didn't go the way like how we wanted to. But, you know, as a team, uh, we just focus on the team goals. You know, we don't try to look at all the other stuff, you know, as a team. We just try to see what we could accomplish, um, you know, the goals that we set before the season, those are the things that, you know, we can improve on. But as far as Pro Bowl goes, you know, obviously uh, we can't control, like, who goes in, who's not in. So, but as a team, I just think um, as of late right now, we've uh, improved a lot and we've gotten better week in and week out. And then I've got a Parker's question, which was just Coach E's impact on your game, especially – as you guys are heading back to LA this week, where where he obviously spent some time. Yeah, um, Coach E impact on the field. Um, you know, it helped me a lot. Uh, I can't thank I can thank Coach E. You know, for putting me in the right positions. You know, to you know make plays. And as a defense, um, we've been flying around all year. You know, and that that's a testament to him. Um, you know, the calls that he makes, um, the type of energy he brings towards the defense. You know, Coach E is a great coach all around and a great person. So, you know, I, I wouldn't go to work with anybody else uh, on the defense side of the ball. So. All right, finish us off, Zach. Pat, congratulations on making the Pro Bowl. And and kind of playing off Nick's question earlier about the, the different format of the Pro Bowl, Peyton Manning is going to be the coach uh, of the AFC. Have you had any interactions with him? And what, what do you think it'll be like playing under him? Um, yeah, I've talked to Peyton before. He's come to, uh, pro, uh, to some Broncos games. Um, prior to this. So, you know, I've had some talks and conversations with him um, earlier, but, you know, having Peyton, I think it would be a great experience. Obviously he's a legend, um, a Hall of Famer in his own right. So, you know, learning from him, um, you know, gaining insight from him, I think it would be pretty dope. You know, <coughs> so have him as your coach, I think it should be fun. And he, he's just going to bring out the competitive nature out of us. So, you know, it should be interesting. All right, Pat, yeah. thank you. Thanks, Pat.